Hi, my name is Sasha. Welcome to the Mothership. Let's see what our messages are for today. So up top, there's a message about really getting yourself grounded and taking that extra energy that you have and putting it to good use. Especially if you find that you may be distracted or have anxiety, uh, anything like this, it's time to go in and check on your inner child, perhaps. Whatever you need to do to channel that energy, whatever you're distracting yourself with. I am hearing also this can be indulgence of any kind, uh, even to technology. All of these are external distractions. And there's an immediate need to just bring yourself within and be centered. If you're having uh, extra sensory fear also, this is time to look into that and see why you're getting triggered. And again, just bring yourself back to center. Ground yourself, ground your energy. I do have an empath course that assists you in all the steps, step by step, on how to do this for yourself and take control of your energetic system. Once you have completed the empath course, this gives you a foundation for the work. There's keys to your energetic integrity, which is a four point module. You can take one by one that deep in this work and allow you to really fine tune your energetic body and work with your own internal system. This goes hand in hand with doing the work um, through the programs with Sophia. Um, also, I would also um, encourage you to get an image reading. You can book that today. I could do an image reading for you that will point out all the places within your subconscious where you need to apply this work so that you can really get yourself uh, back home, back to center, and aligning with your true self and your true purpose. So there's also a message about really trusting the divine path and course of not only your life, but of the circumstances that you might be nav navigating right now. Uh, there is an, a need to understand that you can take full responsibility, control, and I'm hearing a couple different things. I'm hearing accuracy and a word that's not actually an English word, but it's, uh, it has to do with the idea of attunement. So there's, I'm hearing that there's in every different spirituality as well, whatever your belief systems, uh, this relates to cosmic law as well. This is just an idea of sacrifice and putting yourself first. And that means not indulging or distracting, but like putting what's good for yourself first and really um, taking that self-love and that self-care approach. And at different times, this is going to look very differently, especially considering what your background is and what's triggering you. For many of you, you're going, I'm um, hearing that you're at that stage where you need to like, um, hold on, I'm trying to put it into words. You're at the stage where the things that have previously worked for you, it's almost as you have to flip everything and do exactly what you wouldn't normally do to get out of your comfort zone. And also because you're hearing the divine call. Some of you aren't answering the call. Some of you are just staying stagnated and realize, and you're not realizing, sorry, that you're free. You're just kind of going with the flow. But at this time, this is the time when you're not supposed to just go with things. You're supposed to take those action steps. And you're almost going to have to do everything exactly opposite that you would normally do. That's kind of the phase that, that you're in right now. When you do this, this gets you out of your comfort zone. And uh, the divine spirit will show you new aspects of yourself that maybe you didn't even realize that that's who you really are. So there's also a couple different messages here that have to do with aligning yourself with that attunement. I'm also hearing atonement. So maybe some of you have these uh, belief systems. And it doesn't exactly 
matter what the belief systems are that you're holding, they have an underlying core that's all about self-worth and being worthy enough to actually have your desires in this lifetime. Some of you actually think that, um, I'm just going to use this analogy, that uh, you don't deserve to be like as high as God, the creator. And I'm not saying that you're above God or the creator. I'm saying that because you are here now, you can receive everything that you want to receive. That's the purpose for you being on planet Earth is to have the experience to the fullest joy and fullest capacity. So anytime that you think that you're bad or put a judgment or a label or like, for instance, say that you believe that doing this or that is a sin, uh, these just need to be checked because some of you are not allowing yourself to have your full self-worth and you're believing that you don't deserve. So just check yourself because when you look at cosmic law, there is no judgment. When you look at the creator's love for you, there is no judgment. And you need to also stop judging yourself so harshly because you are a sovereign individual. So there's a message here about acting in alignment with what you want and putting your energy towards that and not allowing yourself to go backwards. Go forward with what it is that you actually want and desire. Also, you need to check your thought forms and your words and make sure that these are also in alignment with what you desire. Some of you are having a lot of negative self-talk I'm hearing. So it's time to just move yourself forward on this path. Trust the divine plan of your life and ground yourself. 